Late Show. <laughs> Folks, my guest tonight is a very talented actor you know from films including Little Miss Sunshine, Love and Mercy, and The Batman. He now stars in Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Paul Dano. <laughs> Nice to see you. We just, we just uh, a couple few days ago, we had uh, your favorite one's co-star, Michelle Williams, yeah. on here, who plays, plays your wife in this one. We congratulated her on, on her new baby, mm -hmm. but I just found out that you've just got a new baby, too. You, it, it, it's we busting got it. out all over. We How old it. is your baby? We're traveling with the babies on press tour. It's very yeah. sweet. Uh, I got a one-month-old. One month? Yeah. One month. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you're... Does, and you're like, how are you even awake? Does, does yeah. Spielberg not give paternity leave? I don't you, understand. You, 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 you might you might get some out of me tonight. You know, I feel vulnerable. So yeah, yeah. I um. kind of get. I remember when I was a young dad with like the, the little babies. You get into kind of a chemo psychosis because you're never you're, you're never sleeping. Yeah, we're not sleeping. He's also a, a, a gassy little guy. Uh, okay. And, and okay. My mother called me Pooh Bear when I was little, and I I think I now know why. Mm. Um, uh, well, but we, it, besides the fact that I, my voice is like an octave lower from exhaustion, we're great. Well, uh, we gave Michelle one of these, <laughs> and I'd like to give you one, too. It's, ah, a, little, it's a little late show onesie. There you go. That's cute. That's for you. That's sweet. Thank there you. you. Go. <laughs> you're playing uh, a, a dad on screen in The Fablemans. You're, you're playing someone who is based on Spielberg's dad. Yeah. And um, uh, Sammy is the main character, and you're Bert, Sam, Sammy's mm -hmm. dad. Um, had you never worked with Spielberg before? I had not worked with him. I maybe met him briefly once. I got a text. Mm -hmm. Steven Spielberg wants to meet with you. I say, great. You know, when and where? And, and we Zoom a few times. And, and ultimately, yeah, he asked me to play his father. And I'm like, I'm like this guy named Paul. And Steven Spielberg, one of the greatest directors of all time, like, wants me to play his father. And I'm, I, I don't mean that hubristically. I mean it like, it's just... I mean, I think if I fully let it in, you know, my heart might explode because it's quite, right. it's quite something. Um, and this was not like any film that I've made before to, to have a, a master like Steven um, so uh, open and vulnerable and raw and experiencing memory and telling his story, you know, this is as close to a memoir as he's going to get, right? He is writing with the pen which with he knows best, like he, he, he's writing with the camera and that as he should. And so to have this sort of crazy intimate experience with Steven, with his sisters, with his family, with the archives um, and his crew has been working with him for 20, 30 years. They said, this is not like, this is not like any of the others. Uh, it was really, it was really quite something. We, we have a clip here uh, of you right. uh, playing the dad and you're with Sammy here. Do you know, you're in a car. What are you guys doing right here? Yeah, we're in a car. Uh, uh, um, Let's not give it all away. <laughs> uh, I think one of the tensions as a parent, which maybe you know, is like you want the best for your kid, but you want to guide them. And at this point in the film, I believe that Sammy is spending maybe a little too much time with his hobbies, and uh, and and he needs to be paying attention to other things. Jim, a hundred dollars for a hobby? It's not a hobby, Dad. If you spent half the time on algebra that you algebra. spend on these movies, I hate you could algebra. Get... Why? Are you... It's completely pointless. Not if you want to make something. It's not pointless. Geez, Sammy, when I was a boy, I always used to think somebody figured out how to make this. Yeah. This car, that rear view mirror, that directional signal. I want to make movies, though. We have to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more. Mr. Paul Dano, everybody. Stick around. <laughs> 